Padre. Didn't mean to wear the shirt twice in a row, but I also wasn't planning on making a video. And I just, I don't know, I'm feeling okay this morning. So what the heck? Um, and it was down here, so there we go. So Dave in Kentucky mentioned that this was Day Glow Green. I thought it was yellow. But I don't know if that's part of my little blue-green colorblind playing tricks on me. I'm not that colorblind, but I do know that at times I think things are different colors than they actually are. Um, this is a paladin brush here. Oh, well, I wasn't tired. Now doing this is kind of relaxing, and now I just want to go back to sleep. You wonder, you these videos and Facebook posts and all that stuff, you suppose they'll be part of like history. Like, this is what was like during the 2020 pandemic because there's like too much stuff now huh because there's yellow fever and people had vlogs and facebook and all this stuff you know every little thing i'm so using uh oh i gotta show you so using the feather ss with the feather pro guard blade in it in sheer monk swick I don't know. That's what we're using. I just, I just went into the old soap cabinet, and I am dying to use my Razor Master. Is it Tobio or Tiovo, something like that? But the one that smells like an intense campfire. Oh, I opened it up. Oh, it smells so good, but I get that intense smoke is not everybody's cup of tea. And, uh, since I spend most of the day locked up in a, in the command center, kind of thought that wasn't fair to do. It's one thing if I'm working in my own office and people are free to leave, but when you're stuck there all day, although I guess you'd think after a torturous hour or two, you just get numb to the scent, right? Now I'm kind of stuck because my wife doesn't like it that much. But I don't want to use it. This weekend I want to use it. So anyway, I think we're getting into a bit of a routine with our processes and our command center and stuff. So, um, for the moment, I will preface it for the moment. Um, some, it's kind of weird. Uh, my hospital is just below San Francisco. And uh, we have quite a number of COVID patients, whereas San Francisco has very, very few, which good for them, bless them, uh, but it meant that our uh, response needs and ongoing challenges are a bit different than what's happening just a few miles up in San Francisco. Uh, it seems like the uh, South Bay, down San Jose, Santa Clara area, Tech Valley, uh, is all hit pretty hard and then kind of came up the, the peninsula. And so far, a 
That's where we're at. The concern is all the nursing homes around here. We had to hit a couple of nursing homes and that got us some folks. And, uh, but anyway, yeah. while it's not helping with um, being completely, you know, our supplier that the, 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 the issue is, I won't get it, never mind. This, us having our processes down and all that stuff still doesn't help with the supply issue of PPE. And it's funny, if you're outside of a safety industry or something, I wonder how many people knew what PPE standed for before all this. Um, but just in terms of the command center ops, uh, people have their assignments. Uh, I think the number of issues that we have to deal with daily uh, are vastly different this week than last week. Or we already know the answers to them, so that's helped. Um, so this is day number, I think it's time to make the donut. You remember that commercial I guess? Time to make the donuts. I made the donuts. What was that for? I don't even remember. Was it Winchell's? I'm, for some reason I'm thinking it wasn't even a donut thing, but it probably was. Winchell's. Winchell's donuts were good. And when I was a kid, you like those, um, the maple bars with the, uh, white, the cream filling, not the custard. You gotta get the cream filling. Oh, man. Those were good. Can't have that anymore. Uh, anyway. So this is day number seven, 10, 10 in a row for me. Um, I do have, um, got two more and then get the weekend off. Should, should, trust. We don't know what's happening with this thing. The patterns here are a little bit weird. We, we have locally, uh, we've got some big spikes of getting folks in and then like lower numbers and then a big number and then some lower. So it's weird. It's not like this, but when you're looking at just one facility, it's hard to get trending data. But, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I have, we'll see how, how the, uh, Days quote off go. Um, we still have two command center phone calls every day, even on the weekends. Um, but there's that balance between, I'm sure my boss would say, just go home, turn off your phone, just be off, versus uh, staying in touch and kind of dialing into the calls and stuff keeps you up to speed for when you come back. But we will see, I think, we kind of, I think we've come up with a schedule where we won't have to work seven day stretches anymore, at least in the command center. You know, there's still other stuff that still has to get done. Um, but uh, there's two of us, I think, that'll primarily be incident commander. And we'll do five day stretches is, is the plan. Again, we'll come up with these plans and it'll change in two days anyway, depending on what's going on. But anyway, the plan is she does five, I do five, somebody else does two, five, five, two. So we do five in a row, get seven days out of the command center, um, except for the calls and issues and all that stuff. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, boy, I just <laughs> I started this video like I got all sorts of energy. That's all. I'm already 
yesterday too i felt pretty good in the morning and then just catches up with you i'm already starting monday i was already thinking about the weekend and uh just not having to go into work for two days is huge um but i don't know what to do i'm like thinking i should do this and i should do this and i should do this and i'm also thinking i just want to sit on the couch and not move all day long which you know think about how it's different for the folks that aren't having to go to work and work all these hours and stuff like that and they're sitting at home bored out of their minds and stuff like that so you know i'm trying to be conscious of me sitting there and lying quiet and all this stuff the kids are probably bored out of their mind and my wife would like to see me accomplish some things around the house and stuff but we'll see we gotta go gotta go charge the car this weekend uh, all right i didn't talk about the shave much at all The bummer about having to go to work so early is what I would love. It's a big old, whoop, drop the towel. Uh, big thermos of co Ugh. coffee. But our coffee maker is the kind that has, you put a bunch of like a pound, I think it'll fit a pound of beans on the top, in the hopper or whatever. And then it grinds them right before it brews it. And that thing sounds like a jet engine taking off. What doesn't sound like a jet engine taking off is Thayer's Lemon. Um, so this, I look down here, Fluff. And can, I wonder if it shows on camera. Is there white? There's some white stuff. Looks like drops, dribbles. But then in the mirror, it's a solid stripe. You don't see it. So that must be like variability in the reflective stuff. It's like magic. Anyway, I can't do, I can't whiz up the whole pot full of coffee to take when everybody else is sleeping in the house. <laughs> one, one, one neat thing. I was so tired I forgot to let them know. I posted on Facebook that, um, uh, just about, you know, there ought to be a line at Costco for people that don't want toilet paper. Because I just want to stop by and they have these three pound bags of pistachios. And that's my thing. And I was trying to kind of, I tried to ration it and not do it every day. But given, once all this started, I thought, I like this. I'm going to do this. This is my nightly routine. After dinner, sit down. I got about an hour before bedtime. Um, my parents gave me this. It's a pistachio ceramic bowl that's kind of got like two containers and it's all connected so you can put the shelled pistachios on one side and as you eat them you put the shell empty shells in the other side so every night i fill that up with a can of whatever soda not beer whatever and, and have that each night like that so anyway i was saying there ought to be a no toilet paper line at costco Cause this nurse just wants to go and get some pistachios and i'm not gonna stand in line for an hour to get pistachios so uh, interestingly somebody posted we'll just order them online and you can have them in two days sure enough i don't i don't think of costco as a mail order internet order place but they are and you can um I think they're about the same price online. You do have to pay for shipping unless you get over 75 bucks, which I don't know. I'm not. Anyway, a good suggestion. Might end up having to do that at some point. But um, my, my parents ordered me a big, huge bag of pistachios um, from Amazon, which surprisingly it still showed up, maybe because it's a food item. It's not way back ordered. Um, anyway, that showed up last night, so that was funny. Um, so there we did the whole shave. I don't, I, for some reason, I'm just wanting a nice, nice strong scent. So I got pulled to that uh, smoky scent. I've got a Louis Vuitton uh, perfume that I really want to use. But same thing, it's like, 
If you don't like it, that one I know is also like you can smell it across the room, one spritz. And at the end of the day, it still smells like I just put it on. It's really strong. So I don't want to do that to the command center folks. Um, what should we do? What should we do? I don't know. I'm so tired. So I need, I need a valet to help me in the mornings dress and stuff like this. We're going to do this. Uh, this is a nice mellow one. Uh, Mark Antoine B683. I don't, you're not going to, I'm going to doubt that anybody has heard of this one. Um, we were in a per perfumery in San Francisco probably over a year ago, just smelling hundreds and hundreds of scents. Um, and they didn't have many fashion houses. They weren't into the trendy fashion house with spin-off scents and stuff like that, except for one or two, and this was one of the ones. Anyway, love the smell of that. I'm going to stop rambling. I got to get dressed, get in the car, get in there. See you on the forums.